So this video is called Occupy Christmas. In it, you'll get 10 free anti-consumerist presents that will make you and the people you give them to happy. So Christmas obviously comes from paganism, then Christianity, but they're no longer the dominant religion. The dominant religion today is consumerism. Um, there's a problem. Consumerism is screwing us up, it's screwing up our relationships, and it's screwing up the planet. This is unfortunate. Consumerism teaches us to treat ourselves and each other like objects. It turns everything into an object to be used up. And you can see what that's getting us personally and as a planet. Giving, however, is great. Giving makes us feel good. Generosity is a basic virtue in many spiritual traditions. And in fact, people of any religion, I think, could benefit from some of the things we're going to be suggesting as gifts here. So feel free to use these if you're atheist, agnostic, or of any faith at all. So the reason giving is great is that it reduces our own attachment to things that consumerism really wants to build up. Uh, giving actually means we're less attached to those things and less attached to ourselves. Um, all the gifts actually I'm going to suggest are things that the wisdom traditions and modern positive psychology would, su would suggest are extremely beneficial. Okay, the first gift is presence. So what people want is for you to be there, for you to really be there for them in body and mind. I see kids all the time that just want their parents to be there for them, to be present physically and mentally. Leading on from that, our second present is empathy. So give someone a good listening to. Yeah? Really listen to someone. Don't interrupt them. Don't try and fix them. Just receive completely what they have to say. Taste it emotionally. Listen to someone. That's a huge gift. The third one is gratitude. If you're thankful to someone, tell them. Tell them how they've enriched your life. This will make both of you feel good. Number four, challenge. Uh, if someone's full of crap, get permission, pick your timing right, and then tell them. Challenging someone is a gift. Number five, give a really good compliment to someone. So not uh, just general, like you're nice, but be really authentic, be really specific. Number six, touch. So that could be a hug, it could be a massage, it doesn't need to be sexual. Number seven, but for the right person at the right time, if you're of the right age, be sexy. Be sexy for someone. There's someone out there, whoever you are, who would enjoy your sexiness. Number eight, make something. You can make a card, you could make a playlist on YouTube or on iTunes. Uh, you can make a, write a song for someone, that's a great gift. Number nine, teach someone something useful. So it could be how to change the oil in the car, how to swear in French, I mean, it doesn't matter. Teach someone something that you think they, that would benefit them in their life. Number 10, share this video. So this video can be given free of charge to anyone. Share a bit of love rather than a bit of greed this Christmas. Let's reclaim Christmas from consumerism. Uh, actually turn it into something positive that really does make people happy. If you've got other ideas for free presents, put them in the comments below. Thank you very much and Merry Christmas. Christmas time, mistletoe and wine. Yeah, whatever. <laughs>